And you might say you know I'm an adult, but you know what makes you an adult? Not because of your age. Right. What makes you an adult is your responsibility. Right. Being responsible. Right. And most people that you run into in life are not responsible. Right. You know, and so a person asked me and said, well, so think about this right now. Person say, you know what? I want a, um, I want a real man. Person say, hey, I want a real man in my life. And you be like, okay, okay, that sounds feasible. But then, when you look at that person, they got all this fake stuff on, fake eyelashes, fake all this, this makeup type stuff. So then you be like, okay, well, that's what you want, right? So then the person going to the bathroom and take all that stuff off and come out and then set, set in the chair. And then she get mad because the man jumped in the chair. Because that's what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And it looking like, wow, it, it, they're trying to grasp it and put it together. But it's like, like me, I like a person to be natural. And nothing wrong with being natural. I mean, that's, that's how God made you. You know, and once you start distorting yourself, start doing all this stuff like this, it's like you don't love yourself if you gotta do that. You know, so I mean, it's a breakdown, but it is depends on like what you're doing, what how you push it in your life. You know, it's easy, like I say, to uh, to do things and fall back in that trap, but to be responsible, I mean, that's not easy. Right. That's not easy, you know, and uh, and, and most people think that they're responsible, but they, they're really not. I mean, you're taking care of what you're supposed to take care of, but there's still more responsibilities just in life, you know, and and it's a trip because I was talking to somebody and I said, uh, matter of fact, what I was telling you about the, uh, I was trying to get a place over here right across the street from um, Tower Park, and it was an old lady. And her husband, and they had to be in their seventies. And um, they showed us the place, and for the money that they wanted, it was too small. They were more like fifteen hundred. It was like a studio, right? But it was nice inside. I'm like, but it reminded me of a bigger prison cell. You know, you need space. So I'm like, no, this ain't gonna work. So three weeks later, you know, I'm riding a bike around Tower Park, and I see the same old lady. I said, you know what, that lady, she was real nice. Let me go say hi to her. And I walked up to her, and as soon as she turned around, I'm like, hey, how you doing? She just came, give me a big hug, and going on. I'm looking like, wait a minute. This is not supposed to happen. You know, you just old white lady in your 70s. I'm this big black guy. Society said that you're supposed to be scared of me. This is not supposed to happen. But she was just so warm, so nice. Yeah, right, right. So as we're talking, and then I, I told her about my backstory. I told her the whole nine, and she was looking at me like, and it blew her mind back. Uh -huh. So she was thinking like, like, like you so normal. I mean, how can you be gone like 33 years and you so normal? Oh, oh. You know, and she like, um, like if you, like your mannerism, like the way you carry yourself. She said, if you'd have never told me that, I would never move, right? So I said, what okay. So I, I walked know. away. I walked away with that. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing right. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy to come out here 